Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clean a mouse. I'm going to show you two different types of mice today. Uh, a typical ball mouse and an optical mouse. I'm going to show you um, the basics, really, of how to do it. Um, first thing I want to explain is how the mouse itself uh, would get dirty. Uh, what happens is, as you're using the mouse, you're either your desk if you're using directly on a desk or the mouse pad um, basically the grime and dirt from your hands will get onto it or just dirt falling down from the air dust and it's going to get picked up if you have a uh, roller mouse it's going to get picked up by the ball and there's usually three rollers in these one at the bottom one on the side and just usually one kind of on a diagonal or in the middle here to help bounce it out for measuring the X and Y uh, movement of the mouse and that dirt rolls up off of the ball and onto these rollers and eventually it builds up and it prevents this ball from moving smoothly uh, so I'll show you that how you get to it. You basically flip the mouse over of course you want to uh, disconnect it from your system and as you can see this little wheel like thing here you got an arrow showing you which way to turn it and you turn it, this one's a little bit weird, you gotta kinda turn it all the way but not all the way and you pretty much just flip upside down, give it a little shake and this little cover should come off here we go, it was hard to do that with the camera in the way so you got this little retaining ring, it only goes on one way you have the ball itself, dirt can be on this ball um, best way to clean this is to take some soapy water and uh, a paper towel uh, dip the ball in the water a couple times because they're usually just rubber coated ball bearings dip in water a couple times take a paper towel rub it over it and then uh, actually get another paper towel dip it in the water rub it over it and then take another one finally and dry it off uh, and then once that's nice and clean set it to the side on something clean so it doesn't get filthy while you're cleaning the rest of this here and while it's drying uh, you can work on the inside here um, the lighting isn't the best here forgive me for that you can see one roller here this one is just for basically holding the ball in place uh, you got the one down here you can kinda see it they're usually kinda longish sometimes they're thin and there is another one right there you can kind of see that little shiny black piece uh, what you want to do is take a um, kind of a stick like object, a toothpick works good uh, and basically go back and forth on the roller as you roll it a little bit go back and forth roll it some go back and forth and you'll probably see like a grayish colored uh, and sometimes brownish colored dirt that's built up on it just scrape that off it'll probably fall down into your mouse here um, do that for all three of the wheels this one's actually fairly clean so I can't really show you the dirt and then once that's done you know flip it upside down tap the dirt out of it and then take your can of air blow in to get the stuff out of it be sure to uh, keep your can of air uh, kind of on either 45 degree or you know, you know more of a 90 degree don't tilt it straight down uh, like that into it otherwise you'll basically get liquid out of your um, can of air and you'll end up damaging the components inside the mouse and of course you know do that a couple times flip around tap it out the dirt should fall out and then putting the mouse back together is same as reverse, you just drop the ball in. You take the cover, it can only go on one way. Turn it back. And I like to always, before hooking it up, give it a couple rolls. It should feel a bit better. Um, if not, sometimes those rollers are just too worn down. That's the problem with these ball mice, is eventually those will wear down. Um, another issue you should look for if you're having a trouble with a mouse that's having difficulty moving uh, this one is missing its uh, pads on a couple of spots and that can cause it to basically drag catch on things 
just in general be slowish. Um, you also want to take your can of air to any grooves you see, blow the dirt out of those. And if you have a scroll wheel, you could go through and take it apart and try and clean the dirt dirt out of there, but I'm going to show you that in just a minute with the optical mouse. Okay, this is my optical mouse. Um, basic cleaning for this, you have the optical sensor on the bottom. Uh, just take your can of air and blow into that. Again, like I said before, watch your angles for it so you don't end up uh, blowing liquid in there, because if you blow liquid into an optical mouse, you will damage it severely. This will help dislodge any air, or sorry, hair uh, that might be sitting in there. Never go through and actually put your finger in that opening uh, or try and take something to go in there and scrape around. You can damage the optics in there if you do that. Um, if you do that, you, you better have a very steady hand uh, to not hit the optics in there or damage them. Um, the other issue I've been having with this mouse is I've had trouble where I go through and I click on something. It sometimes takes a double click. I want to go through, open this up, and try and clean out any dirt that might be in the button to cause um, that issue to happen. And as I was saying, this one has a scroll wheel. Um, if you don't want to take your mouse apart, just blow some air into that as well. That'll help dislodge some stuff there. You can take a moist, do not have it sopping wet, um, soapy watered uh, towel and rub back and forth on your scroll wheel without getting dirt off of that. Um, you can also do the same thing for the outside of the mouse. As you can see, this one is pretty dirty. I'm not going to worry about the outside at the moment on this one. I'm more worried about the insides. Uh, on this particular mouse, I've already went ahead and um, taken the covering off in where the screw holes are. There's actually one here and here. This was just another indentation where they would have put a screw in a later model, I think. And there's a screw hole here you can see and a screw hole there. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Okay, when you're taking this apart you may have a couple tabs around the bottom. You may also have to do after you take the screws out and I'm going to kind of lift it up here before I cut again. As you see there's a little ribbon cable in here and another little power cable uh, that goes up to the battery. Okay, here we go. We got the uh, top half of the mouse. As you can see there's some dirt on the outside but there's some little bits of dirt on the inside. What now? I'm just going to take the can of air to this. This is the inside bits. As you can see, there's some dirt on my wheel, uh, some little bits of hair here that have snuck their way in. Uh, you've got the mouse buttons, um, left mouse and in right mouse there, because the mouse would. And the side buttons that you might have saw are actually contained in the top half, uh, and they would be up in there. Like I said, this is one of those little ZIF connectors, if you see my laptop video. And then um, you got some LED uh, light pipes. Dust this off my can of air. And I'm going to also wipe this wheel down since I've got it open. Okay, as you might be able to see, I've gone through and cleaned the wheel some, or at least as best as I can. Some of those spots you're seeing on it there are actually pitting caused by the oil in my hands that have actually... <laughs> eroded uh, this thing. I have quite acidic um, oil. I'm very acidic. Uh, so I went through and I checked these buttons out as well. Um, they seem to press fine. I don't have any resistance on them, anything like that. Um, I press them down. I don't hear any non-clicking, anything like that. I have went ahead, blown out the dust and whatnot, dirt from the mouse. And now, uh, since these buttons seem to be fine. I'm going to take a look at the top half because it actually has one of those covers where the button is kind of just a piece of plastic but built into the palm rest. So I'm going to try and take that off and clean under there. And then I'll uh, put this back together for you. 